plenty of other ways protesters fought for attention. Brian Johnson has more on the clashes between protesters and police. High energy is the best way to describe the thousands of vocal protesters as they shouted, banged, and chanted, all symbols of their desperation to be heard. Eventually, dozens of Michigan State Police confronted the union workers in riot gear. I spoke with one protester as riot police pushed them away from the Capitol building. We're fighting for our rights today. We're making sure Mr. Snyder hears us loud and clear. At least three people were arrested and many more were pepper sprayed. Mark Shower was among those pepper sprayed. Working men and women, they want a decent wage. Um, right to work is horrible economic policy. Troopers on horseback separated protesters from the Capitol. Law enforcement were out in strong numbers. Union organizers have set up a stage in front of City Hall. It's where they have various people speak to get the crowd fired up to make as much noise as they possibly can because they feel their voices aren't being heard. I don't know when downtown Lansing has ever looked this good. By lunchtime, Mayor Verge Bernero and other Democrats encouraged the crowd. This is what Michigan looks like. It's not just what democracy looks like. This is the real Michigan. It ain't the 1%, it's the 99. We're ready to take this all the way to 2014, but I want to beat them now, so let's tell them what we want them to do. Veto! Veto! Even the Reverend Jesse Jackson was there. He says workers need to fight back. And that must be one day where teachers don't go to school, and drivers don't drive the trucks, so workers don't man the center line. A major one-day strike to make workers' presence felt. Only time will tell if the workers, in fact, go on strike. In Lansing, Brian Johnson, Fox 47 News.